I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. Moses, who was he? Who was the real Moses? Moses was born in Africa, raised by Africans, trained in African wisdom, and was mistaken for a descendant of Ham, the father of all black Africans. And yet, he is still depicted as white in the vast majority of pictures that we see. Unfortunately, this lie has prevailed for centuries. But it's not the fault of the Bible. It's the fault of those that choose not to read the Bible close enough to see that we've been lied to. That's taken from the book Moses by Dante Fortson. And we are simply presenting evidence that we feel proves who Moses really was. We're not here to change your mind, for we know that you're going to believe what you're going to believe anyway. However, we want to know who do they say they were? Who are they? The Hebrews. And what was Moses? Moses was a Hebrew. Let's take Job, for instance. Job is from the land of Uz. And it helps to know where the land of Uz was. Who did Job say he was? Well, in Job 30, 30, he says in the Bible, Job 30, 30, my skin is black on me and my bones are burned with heat. Now that's a pretty clear description of how he described himself. So yes, Moses came from the land of Shem, as well as the Negroes, as well as the Hebrews, all the same people. Now, don't be sidetracked by the pictures because they are just depictions. They're just showing illustrations. So don't get fooled. Don't get sidetracked. But the point is, that is where the Hebrews, the Negroes are descended from. And in the Zonda Dictionary, it describes Ham as the youngest son of Noah, born probably 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. You will hear a lot of arguments that says that the Negroes are not Africans. Well, that's not entirely true because the land of Shem is actually on the African Titanic plate or what they call the Middle East. It's actually on the African Titanic plate. So yes, although it may not be the mainland, but the truth is, yes, they are. They are Africans, but again, not from the mainland. And truth of the matter is we're all cousins. Like it or not, we're all related. When you look at the catacombs of Russia, you find that the earliest pictures of Moses show him with darker skin, show him as being what we believe that he was. Why is that? To her credit, Vanessa Davies explains on her YouTube channel, Eyes Open TV, how white archaeologists attempted to remove Egypt from Africa. As if you can remove Egypt from Africa. However, all they did was confuse the situation because they could not believe that such majesty should come from black people. However, the facts are it did. And these devious practices lines up perfectly with the 83rd Psalm. Psalms 83, 1 and 4. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Many of us are very familiar with the 23rd Psalms, and we know it by heart. But how many of us know the 83rd Psalm? How many of us know that the 83rd Psalm is talking about the true Israel and the people who were cut off from being a nation? 
I encourage you all to read the 83rd song in its entirety. It is very eye-opening. Another great example can be found in the Song of Solomon 1 and 5. It reads, I am black but comely, O you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. And here's one of the earliest pictures of Solomon depicted in the catacombs of Europe. This is an example of the tents of Qatar. This passage is spoken by the Shulamite woman. Shulam was a small village mentioned in the Bible in the possession of the tribe of Issachar. Issachar is one of the 12 tribes. And it was located in the land block known as the Middle East or back then the land of Shem or Northeast Africa. Yes, I am black but comely. Comely meaning beautiful. Here you find depictions of the ancient Hebrews by the Assyrians. A statue of an ancient Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. These people knew exactly who they were. And let's not forget Lamentations 5 and 10, when the author, who is believed to have been Jeremiah, writes, Our skin is black like an oven because of the terrible famine. And we know scientifically speaking, when black people are famished, their skin get darker and darker. In the Bible, Joseph, Moses, and the Apostle Paul were all mistaken for Egyptians, which means they all had to look similar to the Egyptians. Baby Jesus traveled and hid in Egypt. More evidence can be found in Revelation 1, 14 and 15. His head and his hairs were white like wool and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. Now, I don't know about you, but anything that burns in a furnace will turn black as soot. As if they burned in a furnace. And we know in this passage, the Bible was speaking about Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Which brings us back to Moses, the ancient Hebrew Israelite. The same Moses that wrote the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, also known as the Torah. You know, I've always found it very interesting in the movie, The Ten Commandments, Exodus 4 and 6 was omitted. It reads, And the Lord said, Furthermore unto him, Put now thy hands into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leopardous as snow. Moses, or in the Hebrew, Moshe. The same Moses that was the ruler of Cush. He was the king of Cush. And this information can be found in the book of Jasher, chapters 72 through 76. Yes, the same Moses who was given the Ten Commandments to give to his people. The same Moses who split the Red Sea. Yes, folks, a black man split the Red Sea. A brother. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Just imagine if we can part the Red Sea 
what else we can do. Again, this is not us talking. This is just us presenting who they say they were, who the Assyrians say they were, who the Hebrews themselves say they were, and who the Bible say they were. We invite any and everyone to please show proof that they were someone other than who they say they were. Thanks for watching. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. We ask that you please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.